Hello everybody, Mobius1 here on a brand new character, conveniently named Keybindings Episode. I figured, since I just recently did a Star Wars Galaxies emulator installation video, and a, quite a handful of people in the past have asked me what my key bindings are, uh, because I kind of left that out of the second episode that I made. Um, I figured, why not do this one now? Uh, but I didn't want to reset everything on my main character, so I made this one. So I haven't messed with like the UI or anything on here, though I believe some settings are carried over. Uh, for example, this little window here, which I like to stick up next to my health, um, this right here is where your buffs are going to be displayed. And in order to get that to show up, you want to open up your menu. Oh, see, O doesn't even do menu. Okay, so O is character sheet by default. See, because that makes sense. This is why I rebind the char or my key bindings, because the default key bindings make absolutely no sense. Why O is character sheet is beyond me. Uh, but I believe the default options key is the period key. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, if you go to interface, there. I mean, there's really you have a ton of customization that you can do to the galaxy's UI, which is surprisingly. I don't know. I mean, for this for the time that this game came out, it was it was a little overwhelming. Um, but what I'm looking for. And I, I really suggest playing with some of these, like the overhead map rotation, I, I like to have it rotate, uh, object icon rotation, that's for your inventory. Like, see how these icons are spinning? Uh, you can disable that so that they're all constantly facing forward. Um, but here, this is what I was looking for, show the modifiers window. So the modifiers window, you can see it blinking at the top, that's your, your buff window. Um, what is being... oh my god, someone drug dewbacks into the cantina. I would save them, except I have no skills on this character. Uh, yeah, so show modifiers window. Show the quest icon for NPCs, don't worry about that. Uh, I don't usually like to have my inventory and data pads sorted, but you can have them sorted. It sorts them alphabetically. And the only other one I'm thinking of... What about the waypoint? Show object... I'm thinking of this thing right here. The waypoint meter or something? What am I missing? Miscellaneous, yep. On screen waypoint monitor. So that on the right hand side, that is whenever you activate a waypoint. So if I type in waypoint negative 1000, positive 1000, um, I have this little meter here that shows me not only the direction it is, but also the distance. You can disable that or enable it. And the miscellaneous. You also have a network status window that gives you like your FPS and your ping and that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't generally have that on, but you can put that on too. But enough of this. Let's get down to uh, what we're all here for, which is the key binds, or which are the key binds. So you're going to go to control. Uh, you're going to go to key map, and some of this is actually carried over because I believe this drop down uh, by default is on Star Wars Galaxies. Yeah, I cannot. Because this is really confusing. Like, when you go to hit W, A, S, and D to move, it, it doesn't move, it types. And that is just really bad. You actually have to use the arrow keys to move, or uh, right-click the mouse to run forward. And actually, this, uh... Oh god, see, I can't even... I can't even get into my options now. So yeah, so this is this could be really confusing because now the period key doesn't even open my options. It simply types periods into chat. So before you panic, uh, what you want to do is hit Alt. Alt, no matter what you're doing, will always switch your uh, your mouse cursor from the little green crosshair thing that I like to call it to the cursor. Uh, and you can click on the little gear. I see Control O is the default for options. There you go. Click on the little wrench icon down here, or do control O, that'll give you your options. Um, and as a matter of fact, Game Mouse Dead Zone, by default, I believe this is somewhere around there. So what happens is when you move your cursor in the crosshair mode, 
uh, your your crosshair kind of moves around this little box in the middle of your screen before it starts to, to turn your camera. And some people like that. It's it's not a bad system. Um, and then, of course, you'd always hit Alt to extend your reach to other things on your screen. Um, I particularly don't care for this. So, like you saw me do that under controls, that's this fourth slider right here, Game Mouse Dead Zone. And as you go to, as you slide this bar, you can actually see the area that the cursor will travel. If you take it all the way down to the left, that's what keeps your crosshair locked in the center of the screen. Um, and that's also what makes it very easy to turn the camera constantly. Okay, so let's go back into our options. Let's click Key Map. So the very first thing I recommend doing here is changing this drop-down from Star Wars Galaxies to First Person Shooter. That's going to give us um, control over our character much in the way that we're used to in modern gaming uh, with the uh, WASD keys moving your character around. Um, it does put a chase camera on by default so you can see when I turn it rotates my character with me. You can disable that by pressing the period key on your keypad. That's your default toggle for chase camera, and that'll allow you to rotate the camera around your character. Um, so let's go back into the options, back into key maps. Let's make this window a little bit bigger and center it. So, uh, I mean, if you look at this auto run toggle, num lock, Q, mouse button four, jump, space, I don't even use jump, so I just unbind that. Uh, you can quick bind things like Neil lay down. You can literally quick bind just about anything, but all I'm going to do is run through what I do for my characters. And obviously this is not the way that I'm suggesting you play it. It's just since people ask me how do I play it, here it is. Alright, I leave most of this the same. Uh, turn left, I will rebind that to Q, because I... Some people don't like to do keyboard turning, um, but I find it sometimes if I'm navigating menus, I'll need to use Q and E to turn left or right, like if I'm on a, a swoop or something. So I do uh, Q and E for turn left and turn right, respectively. Uh, leave the rest of these the same, leave all that the same. Okay, go to target. Um, by default, you have cycle target out as tab, and cycle target in is shift tab. I will actually use shift tab to do cycle friendly targets out. So rebind that to shift tab. It's going to warn me that I'm overwriting something. Yes, that's fine. That way I can use the tab key to cycle through enemy targets, and I can do shift tab to cycle through friendly targets. Um, now there is a conflict with that, and that is if under character, uh, shift is the momentary run or walk toggle, which means at any time that you try to activate an ability that involves you holding shift, it's going to force you to walk. Um, so for like a combat medic, I really, I probably wouldn't recommend doing the shift tab bind because this could be kind of useful. But as a matter of fact, now that I think about it, if you're going to be a combat medic, you're most likely going to be clicking on your target in the group window rather than cycling it anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, just keep that in mind. Uh, so, all right. So the rest of this targeting, I leave all the same camera, leave the same chat, I leave the same UI. This is where the most majority of my changes come in because these default bindings make absolutely no sense. Um, abilities and commands, semicolon. Okay, when I think abilities and commands, I think control A for abilities. Character sheet, O, like I said, why not? Character sheet, control C. Chat bubble would leave, leave. Community, J. No. For some reason, I always remember community being P, uh, which they just told me P was the default key binding for data pad. Uh, I give up. Uh, so, community window, that's like your friends list, your ignore list. Um, that's P. Data pad, which I just unbound, will be control D. Uh, game menu, shift escape, that's fine. Holocron, which is like a help menu. Uh, is H. Inventory is I, which makes sense, but I also, um, I add in B, uh, because, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that for data pad. Sh oops, not shift D, control D. Inventory, rebind B. So now actually you can do B or I for your inventory, um, as other MMOs do. Mail, your in-game mail isn't even bound by default, apparently. Or maybe it was E, and I did that at the beginning. Yeah, I think it was. But uh, I like it to be Control-E. 
options, period, key, we'll make that, or not control O, just O. Uh, default action, planetary map. No, you can leave V uh, the way it is if you're going to leave your quick bars the way they are by default, because V is fine, but uh, you're going to see a little bit later, I actually change my quick slot bindings and I use V for one of those so I rebind planetary map to control V uh, quest journal is going to be J for journal radar map stays at M these all stay the same skills K I don't think so that's gonna be control S all right the rest of these okay we're good so now we're down to the quick bar slots and I'm just gonna I'm gonna apply this and okay this so we can go over real quickly what we, what we did differently um, and also Jeez, so much I'm forgetting to say. When you switch that drop down over to first person shooter mode, that enables the right mouse button to toggle between your mouse cursor modes. So now you can either hit Alt to switch, or you can right click to switch. So it's very, very helpful that way too. Um, now we have WASD walk, or run, I guess. You can hold Shift to walk. Q and E will rotate your character, which if you're running, Q and E will also turn you while continuing to run forward. You have Control A for your abilities, Control S for your skills, which by the way, here's where you get your experience monitor on, on your skills is right here, uh, which this menu can be expanded to up to five rows. So you can track the progress of five different skills at the same time. Uh, so that's Control S. Control D is data pad. And this is where your waypoints and vehicles, points of interest, and draft schematics are stored. Control E for your email. Control V for your planetary map. And J for your quest journal, which really isn't used that often in galaxies. They kind of skimmed over this in pre-CU. It was used a lot later, especially in the NGE, but as far as the emulator is concerned, you're not going to be using this all that much. Uh, B or I for your inventory, and if you didn't watch my backpack videos, in your inventory screen you can use these two little arrow buttons at the top to uh, either expand the details of whatever item you're clicking on on the left, or get a preview of your character on the right. I usually just leave mine set up like this. Um, the M key is your overhead map. The O key is options. And the P key is your community. And this is where you have friends list, ignore list. Uh, the search features and the match history don't actually, or uh, match history would just be for the search. Search features doesn't actually work in the emulator yet, but maybe it'll come later on down the road. Um, but also your character page here. This is where you can set your title. Uh, you can set what language you want to speak once you learn other languages. If you're looking for a group, if you're a newbie helper, role player, AFK, whatever. Uh, what's the... Anyway. So yeah, so that's P. And that is all of the menu options that I believe I rebound. Yeah. H is still your the holocron help menu, but uh, but that's it. Alright, so let's go back in now. Oops. And let me do my quick bars at the top, which the quick bars can be expanded to a second row by just simply dragging the bottom of the bar down and expanding it. Alright. So, now there are a couple different things you have to know the names of. So each of these are called toolbar slots, uh, but there are also actually toolbar panes. So you can see with this little, uh, these up and down arrows here, you can cycle through different toolbar panes. So you can actually have multiple sets of abilities arranged differently and then toggle between those. Um, I generally use like one for combat. If you're if you have a character that's going to do both melee and ranged combat, I might you know put melee on one, ranged on another. Uh, since my other since Mobius is a doctor, I have one specifically for buffing people, um, and that that sort of thing. 
So that's what the difference between these are. So these control one through whatever numbers, those will switch your different toolbar panes by hitting control and the corresponding number. The toolbar slots are the actual buttons themselves. All right, and when it says bank two, that is the bottom row. So if I continue to scroll down, here's toolbar slot one. That's gonna be this button up here, top left. Slot two is the second one, etc. all the way across to 12, which is the last one. And then, like I said, slot two, uh, bank two, I'm sorry, is the second row. So when we get down here, let's, let's redo these. Uh, starting from the beginning, toolbar slot one. I actually leave one through five the same, all right? Now bear with me through this, because this is going to be a little confusing, but I'll explain it when I'm done. Slot 6, I clear and I remind to the F key. Slot 7, clear and remind to the R key, which is going to warn me that it overwrites the chat reply, which is not a big deal because you can reply to somebody in, uh, who sends you a tell in-game by simply typing slash R. So it just it's an extra keystroke that doesn't bother me. Slot 8, I will clear and rebind to C. 9, clear and rebind to X. Slot 10, bear with me, clear and rebind to Shift Q. Slot 11, clear and rebind to Shift E. And 12, clear and rebind to V. Wow. Why would I want to do something that seems at first so complicated? Um, it's actually really simple, and those of you that may have played World of Warcraft and been big into like Battlegrounds uh, already know about some of this, but basically it enables me now to hit every ability across this toolbar with my left hand uh, without any kind of extreme reaching across the keyboard. I mean, think about it. If you have abilities down here on like the 9-0 dash and, and equals key, in order to hit those with your left hand, you literally have to remove your hand from your movement keys. With this set up here, F, R, C, X, V, and the Shift, Q, and E combinations are all right around your left hand. So that way, you know, if you... I usually will burn, uh, I'm sorry, bind burst run to R. So I know if I need to run, you know, get out of a situation, I hit R and there we go, I'm burst running. Whoops, I haven't actually applied these yet. Um, so then what do we do with the second row? I do the same thing, except it's all shift combinations. Shift one through five, shift F, shift R, shift C, shift X, and then, uh-oh, how do you do a shift combination, a shift Q? Well, I do alt Q. Alt Q, alt E, and then shift V. And that, my friends, is are all of my key bindings. That's all I do. And now, uh, this will not update up here until you, uh, until you log out and log back in. But let me, uh, let me do that. Let me log out and log back in real quick. And we're back. Now you can see I have one through five, F, R, C, X. It's, it just says shift, shift, and then V. Now, the reason that's okay is because I don't particularly use these abilities at the end of my bar for anything that's going to be like combat ready. Uh, I usually I'll put like my vehicle, like a swoop on here, maybe some food. I think uh, on my Terrace I have sit and meditate here so that I can do those without you know having to type them or switch to another bar. But all of your combat moves will generally be in the first five or six rows here, or five or six uh, slots here on both the top and the bottom row. The only thing, again, I'll bring this up, is anything on that second row with my bindings you have to hold shift to use, which causes you to walk. So you may, you know, that can be fixed by simply unbinding shift as a toggle walk button. Um, but I generally don't put anything on there that I believe I'm going to be using while I run. Uh, all right, so that's that's how that works. But, uh, but those are my key bindings. That's really all I think I need to talk about. Um, I know, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. It's just how I do it. Alright guys, so I thanks for watching. 
and I hope this video helped. See you in game.